As Liverpool's players and staff gathered at their training camp on a typical Friday, the midwinter sun shone down on Kirkby. Unbeknownst to them, they were about to embark on one of the most remarkable days in the 132-year history of the club. Everyone connected to Liverpool will never forget where they were when it was revealed that Jurgen Klopp was leaving. This bombshell stunt football, in contrast to typical football news items that are leaked weeks in advance by shady agencies. The revelation was so shocking that even non-football fans were talking about it. It was the best kept secret in sports. Not even the Liverpool players knew about the news until they were summoned to a team meeting on Friday morning at roughly 10.15 a.m. Emails were sent out to club employees that morning, and Liverpool's social media accounts made the revelation public at 10.36 a.m. That initial ex post has been viewed about 55 million times in only one week. Even though Klopp's farewell tour is already scheduled for two dates, the Reds might play up to 28 games this season if they make it to every final many supporters are still in denial about his leaving however the succession plan is already in motion for individuals who are a part of liverpool's inner circle mike gordon the president of the owners fenway sports group is in charge of everything and is managing the hiring process from boston gordon a reclusive individual who has never granted an interview to the British press, was made aware of Klopp's resignation in November. Although Klopp regularly called his close friend Gordon, on this particular occasion he urged the Milwaukee-born investor to stay on the line for a few more minutes before delivering the crushing news that Gordon would have to quit the team if he didn't alter his mind. After leaving Borussia Dortmund, Klopp intended to take a lengthier vacation. He was tired for several reasons, and felt that his time with Liverpool was coming to an end. The slump in performance from the previous season was one of the things that gave the management food for thinking. Just like with most people, Klopp was severely impacted by the global pandemic. Due to COVID regulations, he was unable to attend his mother Elizabeth's 2021 funeral. In addition, the shortened seasons that followed prevented him from getting the much needed time off from football. In addition, he recently became a grandfather, and he anticipates spending more time with his family. As a result, Klopp had a mental checkup and wondered if he had the stamina to travel to the United States with Liverpool during a pre-season planning meeting. In reference to the Chicago Bulls documentary, assistant coach Pep Leanders, who is also departing the team with Peter Kravitz and Vitor Matos, referred to this season as the last dance and made jokes with the players about hitting them in the head if they displayed any negative traits. Although he did not want to inform supporters so far in advance, Klopp, 56, chuckled and joked in private that he should have gotten fired for the huge payoff. He also wanted the news to be released on his terms, even if it meant running the danger of being leaked in the upcoming weeks. Although Klopp's departure was well known to his loyal confidants, Liverpool would need to begin reaching out to potential replacements for the manager and his coaching staff. There were rumors earlier this week in the football community that the team was considering changing its backroom coaches. In contrast, women's team manager Matt Beard's briefing was moved to Saturday in order to clear out the day for the announcement of Klopp's departure. Last week's routine news conference ahead of a match against Norwich was moved forward one day and was not held on a Friday for the first time this season. What follows then? As in 2015, Gordon will oversee the hiring process from Boston. Klopp had been summoned to Manhattan for a covert interview back then, as was agent Mark Kusick, who hovered at the back of the media room when his client was being interrogated as he was leaving. Because of his demeanor and ability to command a room, Klopp eventually defeated Carlo Ancelotti in the running for the position. While the former Real Madrid manager claimed he could bring Liverpool back to glory with a few important additions, Klopp expressed his eagerness to work with the current group. Finding answers internally rather than asking FSG to open the checkbook has been a recurring theme during the German era at Anfield, and it will once again be at the top of the job description. Although Xabi Alonso is said to be leading the pack, 
The procedure will be meticulous and data-driven. Along with many other prospects, Liverpool has compiled a shortlist of candidates to review, which includes Ruben Amram of Sporting and Roberto Desirbi, Will Spearman, a Harvard graduate who is currently the Reds' chief of research, has played a part in leading that process as a particle physicist. Wataru Endo was selected as a summer signing thanks in part to Spearman. After losing out on Brighton's Noises Cachedo, Liverpool felt the Stuttgart midfielder was a top solution and that the Japan captain stood out in a lot of statistics criteria. When Liverpool hired Klopp, they took note of the fact that his Dortmund team frequently underperformed in terms of expected goals statistics, meaning they ought to have achieved greater outcomes. Ironically, Klopp was the last manager to win the Bundesliga who wasn't at Bayern Munich. Of course, former midfielder Xabi Alonso, whose Bayer Leverkusen team is leading the table heading into their crucial matchup next weekend, could be the next to break Bayern's league dominance. Would he soon be able to emulate Klopp? Prior to that, Liverpool is probably going to appoint a new sporting director, as George Madkey is leaving the team this week. Although Michael Edwards, the former transfer chief, declined the opportunity to return in a different role, it is evident that the hunt is still going on. Because neither side was hesitant to disagree, the Edwards-Klopp axis functioned effectively. German midfielder Julian Brandt was a target for Klopp in 2017, but Edwards persuaded him that there was a better option. Since then, Mohamed Salah has scored 200 for goals for the team. That man was Salah. West Ham is worried that Tim Steiton, their sporting director who recruited undesired failures Kevin De Bruyne, and Serge, Nadbury, at Werder, Bremen, and Brottle on so to Leverkusen, could be lured away by Liverpool. Richard Hughes from Bournemouth has also been suggested. Regarding Klopp, there have been rumours circulating in Germany that the FA there may attempt to lure him into managing the national team following Euro 2024. However, the boss is eager for that vacation at last. He expressed his enthusiasm last week when he declared, I am who I am and where I am because of how I am.